Welcome Kinders, it's Jessica and I've just got a quick little video for you today. I have four questions for you and an announcement. So kind of like four weddings and a funeral, only with less Hugh Grant. <laughs> so the questions are more for me to get an idea of what would be useful for me to be sharing here on the channel. And the first one is, do you use tarot? I think most of you do, um, but I'm, I'm a little bit of a tarot nerd. I'm definitely a tarot and aficionado, but I know there are people who are much more hardcore tarot nerds than me out there. I'm gonna do a VR next week to Mags Black, the tarot nerd, tarot geek um, tag, which has been really fun. I've been uh, watching a couple of the other videos about it and realizing that I'm not as much of a tarot nerd as I thought I was. <laughs> And the next question is kind of along the same veins, only instead of tarot, I wondered if you use astrology. Um, as you know, if you watch my channel, I love astrology, particularly like working with the lunar cycles. But astrology just as a whole has been a real passion and interest of mine since oh, there's a fly in here now. Sorry if that's annoying. And I'm trying to be really quick because I'm heading out to um, my parents' golden wedding anniversary. <laughs> so that's happening today. But I wanted to just record this video quickly so that I can let you know um, the news and ask you these questions, basically. Yeah, do you use astrology? I know for, from the comments, I feel like lots of you do use it, but that quite often people are asking me more questions about it. So I did make a whole series, Astrology for Witches, which explains kind of how to read your natal chart and stuff. But I'm thinking I might even make like a kind of beginner course on using astrology maybe. So yeah, just let me know kind of what your level of understanding of astrology is and if you use it in your practice, basically. That's kind of what I would like to know. And obviously like answering all these questions is completely optional as well. Like if you don't want to answer them, then obviously you don't have to. Okay, the third question is a little bit different and that is, do you call yourself a witch? And this is something that I have felt like I'm, um, I go back and forth on this myself, you know, because like witch has been a term more traditionally used to like kind of other people and kind of push them out of the conversation but like in the last sort of I guess 50 years or so now increasingly so since like the 90s it's become adopted back in as a term it's been reclaimed you know kind of like queer and stuff like that and um, words like that words that were used to like other people have now been like reclaimed and so I feel like that has happened for which but I know that for some people it still feels like a kind of dangerous um, word so I just wonder do you think of yourself as a witch? Do you call yourself a witch? Um, and why, I guess, if I'm being really nosy, because you know, witches be nosy. And the last question is a little bit more open-ended in that um, it's like, what would you like me to be sharing here on the channel? Like, is there something you feel like that I know or that I do or I practice that would be useful for you in your practice? And the reason I'm asking this is because what I tend to find and I think this is true for lots of people is that that a lot of the things that I do and that I think of as like being completely normal and like that everybody already knows this stuff is actually not that's actually not the case <laughs> and that some of the things which I find quite kind of just as a as a routine everyday magic you know that's my whole thing I love everyday magic that is not necessarily something that is easy for other people and so I wondered if that might be something that um, might be useful for me more to share. So yeah basically if there's something that you would like me to share about more here on the channel and in my Facebook group which is the thing that I'm coming to is the announcement in a minute <laughs> but just let me know what that is really um, because sometimes I think it's just best to ask surely it's best to ask these things so that's what I'm doing I'm asking and that leads me on to the announcement which is that I in my last video I talked about how I'm kind of a bit being a bit jaded with social media like I think most of us are at the moment and but how I'm going to try and like use the master's tools to dismantle the master's house and maybe start a Facebook group. Well, that maybe has now gone and I have, I've set up a Facebook group. There's literally nothing there yet, <laughs> but I'm hoping it is going to be a really just gorgeous space. I've called it the Circle of Kindreds and obviously it's attached to this channel. Um, I didn't want to call it my channel name because like it's not about me as such. It is a com I want it to be a community space, a sacred space where we can kind of, chat about the things that are important about everyday magic about maybe tarot and astrology about 
how we like weave magic into our everyday lives and um, perhaps goddess connected stuff and things like that as well um so yeah that's my announcement i have a group i'll put a link to the group in the description box down below if you want a little bit more kind of background info on that whole like why i'm starting with a group thing or what i'm thinking about i'll link to my last video somewhere here on the screen um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, warmest, warmest blessings, and I will see you very soon.